Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this bill stems from an incident in the Green Bay area where a gentleman walked into a local bank and presented a note that said uh, merely 20s, 50s, and 10s. There's no other notation on it. Um, and then after looking at the teller, said, give me all your money. Uh, now the teller presumed that something was amiss. And so uh, handed over the, uh, the currency to the gentleman um, and hit the button or whatever, called the police. And the police arrived and confiscated the, uh, the currency. Now that gentleman was arrested on a bank robbery. However, the commissioner at the probable cause hearing dismissed the case. And the reason he dismissed the case was because there was no brandishing of a weapon or a threat that a weapon would be brandished. Uh, therefore, it was not a bank robbery under that. It was merely a request for money, and the bank satisfied that request. So this, what this bill does is it creates uh, an additional type of an element under circumstances that I guess unusual, uh, but apparently possible in the state of Wisconsin, um, or at least coming on the front end to make sure these things don't become possible in the state of Wisconsin, um, whereby uh, if you create a circumstance where a reasonable person would believe that, uh, that a threat is imminent, that that would also satisfy the, con the concept uh, of uh, procurement of um, uh, improperly or a bank robbery. Now, the question remains, what if you do the same thing but ask for your own money? That's a very good question. Well, that's just called a withdrawal and doing it in a very weird way, but then not a crime. Uh, so I think this troubleshoots a lot of uh, potential problems regarding taking of other people's money, uh, but also you can ask for your own money however you want.